are on lesson one of a new unit. We are going to be talking about converting measurements. And our first lesson is on metric units, and this is the introduction. So we have a new learning goal now. Um, our essential question is how do you convert measurements? The learning goal is I can convert metric and standard measurements correctly in word problems. For a level four, you can convert them in multi-step word problems, all right? Level two, you still need help, and a level one, you still can't convert. Most of us should be a level two or a level one here because we're at the beginning of our unit. So go ahead and rate yourself, see where you are. And metric measurements, so metrics, all right? They're a measurement tool that uses multiples of 10, and you'll see what that really means. So here first we have a meter. It's a metric unit for length. Liter is the base metric unit for capacity or volume and gram is the base metric unit for mass and the way we colloquial say mass is weight but remember they're not the same thing all right things that are measured in meters so the distance from your home to your school that's a length so there's meters the length of our classroom would be measured in meters and how tall you are can also be measured in meters things measured in liters bottle of soda so you get a two liter bottle right that's liquid, liters. Liquid laundry detergent and milk in a container, like a gallon of milk, well you could also measure that in liters, that's the metric term. And then things measured in grams, if you're measuring flour, if you're weighing flour for baking, or looking at how heavy something is. All right, so here is our chart. So you've seen this before, you have kilo, hecto, deca, base unit, deci, centi, milli. And then from here, what you're able to do is you're going to look at the meaning of those things. So you have kilo is equivalent to a thousand of the base unit. Hecto is equivalent to a hundred of the base unit. Deca is equivalent to ten of the base unit. Deci is equivalent to a tenth of the base unit, so now less than one. Centi is equivalent to a hundredth of the base unit and milli is equivalent to a thousandth of the base unit. So here you can see how it works. You have a kilometer, a hectometer, a decameter, a meter, a decimeter, a centimeter, and a millimeter. So as you go up this chart, the values get bigger, all right? But as you go down, the values get smaller. All right, for homework tonight, I would like you to um, tell me three things you would measure in liters, three things you'd measure in grams, and then three things you would measure in meters. After you do that, go ahead and rate yourself again. It's okay if you're still a one or a two. Remember, this is the first lesson, all right? Thank you so much for your hard work, and I'll see you tomorrow.